Good morning and welcome to the Morning Briefing. I'm Jilly Bedanes. It's Tuesday, October 6th, 2009, and these are the top stories we're covering here on WashingtonTimes.com today. As the debate over whether to send more American troops to Afghanistan becomes more public, the White House is defending its need for a careful internal decision-making process. On Monday, Defense Secretary Robert Gates called for calm and privacy and said the president needs to take the time to get it right. Press Secretary Robert Gibbs added the president may take weeks to make a decision, but said pulling out is not an option. President Obama hosts a group of bipartisan congressional leaders at the White House today. And the nation's biggest trade association, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, has been leading the fight against President Obama's climate change plans, a position so unpopular popular that several of its biggest members resigned from its board. Apple is the latest company to quit the chamber following moves by Nike and public statements from Johnson & Johnson, General Electric, the San Jose Chamber of Commerce, and three major utility companies. Gay rights activists had hoped they could count on President Obama's participation in their national march on Washington this weekend. Instead, the president has agreed to be the keynote speaker at the major gay rights advocacy group Human Rights Watch's dinner the night before for the event. So far, the White House has signaled that tackling gay rights is not a top priority at the moment. On Sunday, the, the president's national security advisor said it's an issue the president intends to take on, but now is not the appropriate time. Well, that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com for these stories and your continuous news updates.